What's up guys, it's Scrappy here, back again with another Sons of the Force guide video to add to my playlist of guides on this game. Before we get started, if I can just have one moment of your time, I do want to share that as a small YouTube channel on this platform, these videos I make for you guys do take a lot of time and effort to create, especially having to record and edit them along with the responsibilities I have every day as a full-time employee, husband, and a father of two beautiful children. I've been dedicating a lot of time in creating these videos in hopes that they are helpful, informative, and entertaining for you guys and any type of support from you guys really helps me out and pushes me to keep continuing to make this channel bigger and better for you. The best way to show your support to me is by just clicking that like button and subscribing. Thank you in advance. You don't know how much it means to me. Now, without further delay, to all of you that do not know this, there is an awesome resource out there that can help you in finding certain locations in Sons of the Forest. I know some of you gamers out there have most likely used this in the past and still to this day, and thank you for sticking around to learn the exact same thing you already know. But for the gamers who do not know, this resource can and will help you in locating and showing you exactly where all the collectibles, items, and locations are in Sons of the Forest. This is not a mod or a cheat or a hack, it's just a nice interactive map in which you can zoom in and zoom out. What we have right here is Map Genie's Sons of the Forest interactive map. You can get here by going to mapgenie.io and you'll see that Map Genie actually hosts tons of interactive maps for tons of games out there. Well, most are free to use, some you need to get pro for, like certain Escape from Tarkov maps, but in this case, for Sons of the Forest, this map is free. It's been out for a while now, ever since the game came out basically, but it's always being updated and it's very easy to use. So right here, you just click on the map and it'll pull up Sons of the Forest map. You'll see all sorts of things on this map and it might be a little overwhelming at first. The best thing to do is go all the way up to the top left corner and click hide all. This will hide all the icons so you can navigate through this the way you want. In the panels to the left, underneath hide all, you'll see locations, collectibles, items, natives, wildlife, and other maps will have obviously different categories. But here, if you want to find a certain location, all you need to do is click whatever one you want to find on the map. For instance, say you already completed some caves, but you want to find another cave. You can just click on cave entrances and it will show you where they are. And this goes for everything on here. If you need to know where the key cards are, you can click key cards and it will show you where you need to go and where it is on the map so you can go collect them. And for instance, if you are playing with your friends, let's say like on hardcore and you need to know where some item locations are so you can restock, you can click on whatever item that you're looking for. And and it'll show you where this particular item will spawn. So that way it'll just make it easier for you and your team to know where to go to collect those items. You can also click on weapons and gear and go to that location and find what you're looking for. And when these icons pop up on the interactive map, you can actually hover your mouse over these icons. For instance, if I click weapon, once I hover over it, it's gonna tell me what weapon it is. So if you're looking for something specific or if you wanna go collect all the weapons, this is your best bet. If you wanna find wildlife to hunt for food and resources, you can scroll down to wildlife and click on what you're interested in locating. And if you want to find where graves are so you can dig up and find some items and resources, you can go to other and click on grave and basically whatever you want. To scroll in and out, all you need to do is just use your mouse wheel or the plus and minus icon down here in the bottom right. Like I said previously, it's always being updated with new updates and content that comes out for the game and is very resourceful in helping you locate assets and places within the game along with helping you even find a nice base location to build. The the link will be in the description or you can just go on google and search mapgenie.io i highly suggest favoriting it and bookmarking it and is an overall very nice free and easy resource to have at your disposal all right guys well this is a very quick and hopefully informative video for all of you guys that didn't know about this i hope i showed some of you guys something new today if you guys have any video ideas or guide ideas or even game ideas for me to cover let me know in the comments down below i'd love to make a video on it you can also find me online almost daily in my discord hanging out the discord link will be in the description and we have over 200 plus members now and it's slowly growing each week hope you guys have a wonderful day and take care